welcome back to my channel. So today's video, wait, are you guys crooked? Ah. Today's video is going to be my Amazon haul. So I do these like periodically on my channel. You guys always really like them. And now that I think about it, I feel like they're super helpful because you know, when you're just in the mood to go on Amazon and buy something, but you're kind of worried about quality or especially if you're buying a popular item that you can get at the store. Sometimes I wonder like, is it the same on Amazon? So I actually have um, something to show you as far as that goes, a candle that's the exact same. I especially love Amazon decor hauls because decor is expensive and if you're like me and you like to switch it up I don't like to spend a lot of money or I like to find dupes or just find different things so yeah I put together a list of things I want to show you that I recently got we have some kitchen stuff living room stuff and then baby stuff so just like a couple things there's just two things that I've been showing on my insta stories and you guys really like them and I'll say for the most part they're kind of aesthetically pleasing in my living room but yeah, I feel like I've just grown out of that. Like when I was pregnant and when Violet was really little, I have a 10 month old if you're new to my channel, but when she was really little, I was like, oh, I don't want like ugly baby toys. But then you realize like the uglier, louder, crazier looking toys is what makes them the most happy. So as a mom, that's the most important thing to me anyway. But yeah, some of the like big things, it's nice when you find things that also go with your living room decor. Since we're in the kitchen, let's start with the kitchen stuff first. And the first thing I have to show you guys has to do with coffee if you guys are into making any kind of healthy coffee whether it's bulletproof coffee or really any like flavored coffee but if you're like me and you like to add collagen i also like to add my saccara powder you make bulletproof coffee and you like to add fats or any supplements in your coffee a hand blender is totally necessary and i've gone through a couple i've shown a couple on my channel but this one is by far my favorite because it's like cotton candy pink and it comes with this cute stand so it's not like after you're done using it and i rinse it off it's like just kind of like hanging there it's just like sitting there or i throw it in a drawer and forget about it so it's nice that it comes with this stand and it mixes up my coffee so you're even getting more of the health benefits from your coffee because everything is properly mixing but then it also makes it like a latte too it like frosts it up next thing i want to show you guys is our bar stools so we kind of got them as like a quick fix we weren't thinking that we were going to use them long term um i kind of wanted to see the kitchen finish before i picked out anything but we ended up just getting these on amazon and now we're obsessed i love that they're easy to just pull out we could probably even do a like two more there we have the high chair obviously especially if you're redoing your kitchen or your style switches up why not start here something simple so the next thing i got was a toaster and my husband actually picked this out and i was so surprised that he got something cute my last toaster was just like this ugly little like red toaster that i always keep tucked away this one i feel like i would want to even keep out it's like cute it kind of looks like a smeg toaster it's like vintage look Looking, like that old retro looking um, kind of appliance. It's like a dupe of a Smeg toaster. I'll put a Smeg toaster up here. I think they're like a little over $100 and this was like 30, I believe he said. But I love the retro look, especially in a modern kitchen. We recently renovated our kitchen. I love to add different like elements of like wood, like you guys see my shelves um, and this. I feel like it just like complements the shelves with the like little brown accents and it's just super cute. So yeah, something like this, I would even keep out, right? Like it just looks cute. So the next thing I got is for my pretty water. By the way, how beautiful is this? I saw Lauren from the Skinny Confidential post this. She calls it her spa water and you guys know for years I've been calling like spa water is what a lot of people call it, but um, I call it my pretty water, basically just fruit infused water. And my mom started calling it that when we were kids because it looks pretty. But you can add ginger, you can add mint, you can add just lemons like I did today. And this just looks so good on your counter. I just feel like you have this out or you put this in your fridge and it's going to inspire you to drink more water. Hi guys, it's the next day and it's currently editing Sam. And editing Sam realized that I forgot to show you guys the bathroom. So a lot of you know that we recently did a remodel. So we did the kitchen, we did the bathroom. Anyway, I got the mirrors from Amazon and I've been waiting for this video to show you guys. But if you guys also are doing a remodel, either in your kitchen or bathroom or something like that, 
all of this stuff adds up. So if you can find things like the faucet on Amazon or the mirrors, it's really gonna help with the budget because remodels are very costly, especially right now, the cost of things have really gone up. The mirrors, 100% were cheaper. So this was actually my inspo pick. I just wanna show you guys. Um, I thought these ones really did the job and made it look really nice and gave me the same look that I wanted but from Amazon. So the next things I'm going to show you are all in the living room, so let's go on in there. Here is an overview of our living room. So I'm gonna share some of our plans with you guys so that you can kind of get a feel. So the first thing is this ceiling is really high, as you can see. So what we plan to do is built-ins, but because we did so many renovations at the house, we had to break them up into phases. We did a kitchen rent, we did an exterior reno, we did a master bathroom reno. Built-ins were the last priority. Um, but I do think that it will make this area look really pretty and just have more storage. So in the meantime, what I wanted to do is get a TV stand. I am so obsessed with this TV stand. I wanted something modern, I wanted something under $200, I wanted like the mid-century look, and I didn't want anything too bulky. I love, love, love it. So I was actually looking at a very very similar TV stand at West Elm. I love West Elm, I love the mid-century modern look, I love mixing white with wood. Theirs were super expensive, so that was a no, especially because like I'm saying, it's not a permanent thing. I just need something for a year, possibly two years. I went on Amazon and found it, and I really haven't bought a lot of furniture on Amazon, so I wasn't really sure, um, but I'm super happy with it, and a lot of you guys commented on my stories and said you loved it. I feel like it's really great for small spaces, it's great for an apartment. The next thing I got on Amazon is the frame that's around my TV. So I do have the frame TV and for the longest time I didn't have a frame around it. I always thought the Samsung frame TV is just the picture on it. So you see how there's a background? You can actually change it. It's an investment to get the frame TV because it's going to be more expensive than a regular TV but like you can see it looks pretty. It would look really nice over a fireplace and it just makes it look like artwork rather than a TV. So we knew we wanted to invest in this. We knew we wanted to get one. Then when we moved into our house, my husband was on Amazon. And he saw the frame for the frame TV on Amazon and it was actually cheaper ordering it on Amazon than from Samsung directly. So what's cool about that frame is it's magnetic. So if you do end up investing in the frame TV, just go on Amazon to get the frame and they make all different colors. They have white, they have wood. We ended up going with beige because I felt like beige went with this room and goes with our coffee table and it just sticks on and is magnetic. Okay, so now let's talk coffee table. So I love a decorated coffee table. I love an oversized coffee table. I love, love, love coffee table decor, but it really adds up. Like if you go to Pottery Barn or if you go to West Elm or even some of these interior decorators on Instagram that have their own stores, stuff can be so expensive. Like one vase was like $300 and it was like this rustic vase and then this tiny little like um, rustic bowl I saw on this Instagram page and it was like 500 bucks and I was like, wait, what? I definitely didn't want to spend a lot on coffee table decor only because I do like to switch it up. I don't like the same thing. So what we did was our living room is a mix of high and low. So our couch, we went with like a rustic couch and we went with a rustic looking coffee table. Both of them are from Restoration Hardware. On the couch, I have throw blankets from Target and um, the coffee table has all pieces from Amazon. So it's one of those things where I would invest in the furniture, but I don't necessarily want to invest in like the objects on the furniture, if that makes sense. The current setup for the coffee table. Everything here, I got on Amazon. I'll just share in case I get questions about it, but this dish is from Goodies LA and they make a ton of different wood items and that's where we put the coasters. Definitely since this is a investment piece, this coffee table, gotta use a coaster. Then over here, this was the little dish I was talking about. I've seen so many things like this on Instagram. If you guys are into decor, you probably have too and Pinterest pages. Things like this will end up being like a hundred bucks and you're like, absolutely not. So this does have like a really nice feel. It's even kind of heavy. It's really great quality and it'd be cute to put matches in there to go with the candle. This was the first decor piece and I think it looks really cute on a coffee table book. It even would look cute just like on its own, like I don't know, something like 
like that. And then decor beads, that's what I call them. I don't know what these are actually called, but I see them on Pinterest all the time. I see them on Instagram and I actually have two of these. I have one here and I loved it so much. I actually got another one for my bedroom. This would even look great on a shelf if you guys have any shelves. Then the next thing, let's talk about coffee paper books. So all three of these are from Amazon. This one is old, this Los Angeles book. I had this for a couple years now, but these two I just got recently. So the first one is Made for Living from Amber Interiors. And this is one of my favorite pages to follow on Instagram. All of her stuff is like gold. She's my favorite designer. However, her stuff is really expensive. Her coffee table is really beautiful. And then the other one I got is the AD book. I love following them on YouTube and seeing like celebrity homes and all of that, the architectural digest. Cool about coffee table books is you can get them used. Like my Los Angeles one, I ended up getting used on Amazon. You can always find deals on Amazon getting them used and like who cares? It's just gonna be like a cute book on your table. You guys might remember from a previous video, but Diptyque, this scent exactly bays. Bayes, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but this is a pretty fancy candle. It smells amazing. You only need one. Like if you wanna invest in a candle, you really don't need a million. Um, just get one and the scent is beautiful, but I never have time to go to department stores and go shopping and I couldn't find it on Nordstrom's or any of the um, department stores. They were sold out in this scent. It's pretty popular and Amazon had it and I can tell you it was the exact same price, but it came super fast. It came in like a day. So Amazon Prime is great for that. Okay, so now let's talk about the baby stuff. So my daughter is 10 months, so she's almost one. She's almost a toddler and she just needs like things to actually play in now at this point. When I'm cooking or when I'm doing something, both of these come in handy. They are amazing. So let's start with the first one. The first one is the ball pit. So some of you guys have told me that different ball pits don't even come with the balls, so you really liked that this one did. The other thing I love about this is it's foamy. It kind of reminds me of the Nugget couch, which is what I want to get Violet for her first birthday. Um, but this was such a great Amazon find because what we'll do is we'll put her in here and then sometimes she'll even climb out. Like, um, like I said, it comes with the balls. This does come in other colors. You can get it in white. I think it comes in blue. I thought the peachy pink was cute, but yeah, this is such a great like keeping your baby or your young toddler busy and occupied and having fun while you're cooking or you know doing something. So she really likes this. And we like throw her toys in here. Like I have a block in here, one of her dolls, and she'll just go in here and just like sit or she'll play with the balls. Or like I said, she has so much fun climbing out and then climbing in and climbing out and climbing in. It's a good time for her. But what I love is how light it is. Like this is so movable. It's like, oh, we're going to the kitchen. Okay, mom life. So the last thing I wanna show you guys is this giant teepee. I am obsessed, this is... <laughs> so I'm actually gonna be using this on her first birthday as just like a cute like accent piece. Um, the dogs love it. I wanna get her a little chair to go in there. Usually we have this on top of a mat, but I just wanted to show you because that area is kinda messy. Um, but another great thing is the pockets. I love to fill the pockets. They're on both sides with different toys because one, it kind of, you know, makes the area cleaner and neater and you can put, um, you know, stuffed toys in there, but also it keeps her busy. <laughs> My wild child. It keeps her busy and having fun and the lights are really fun too, especially at night. Love this teepee. The dogs love it too. So that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Comment down below if you've gotten anything recently from Amazon and you can, <coughs> and you can share with us either for her or for me. Uh, Daddy, we want snacks. We want snacks. <laughs> Bye guys.